Okay, in the last video, which you may or may not get to see because I messed up the audio, we essentially got all of these fields all ripped up, ready to be planted, and we completed our last field harvest over there. We've got like 60-some thousand liters of canola and 30-some thousand liters of oats, and we have planned to plant, I believe, canola and sunflowers for our crop. And for this very first year, I think we might do all canola. Ultimately, I want to buy the oil facility right beyond those trees for $80,000, which will allow us to make a lot more money using our canola and sunflowers moving forward. So this is technically day three but we might have to call it day two because you might not get to see day two or you maybe you do and this is day three i don't know okay what i do know is we have work to do so we're gonna get right into it we have the uh, disc harrow we do need to return i hope wait just double check jake hold on don't make mistakes you make plenty of them let's try and do our best to minimize those um okay yeah no so all of our fields we own these blue fields right here and as you can see they are all tilled up ready to be uh, planted essentially and in august we can plant canola which is what we're wanting to plant we'll be harvesting that in july which means next year we'll plant half of our fields in canola and then we'll wait until the beginning of the next year after that to plant the sunflowers so the disc arrow can be returned and oh i thought maybe there's gonna be something fun for sale but no not really with eighteen thousand dollars we don't have a lot to work with but we do need to get a planter Honestly, I'm a fan of the Converlin, um, so we're probably going to do this. What's the lease? 4500 Can't buy it, so we're going to have to lease it. It is what it is. I'm going to go for it. 14000 is what we got now in the bank. Let's go pick that thing up and get seed in it and get to planting here. Luckily, we do own this John Deere tractor. We got it for 51 or 52% off, but it needs some repairs done. That is the unfortunate part. And we do own the combine as well. That's actually brand spanking new. In fact, it's right... Oh, I thought I parked it over here. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's right there. You can see it, the yellow one, New Holland. But this is the planter that we've leased and we're going to get started with. We're probably going to go to the small fields first first to get them knocked out of the way and then we'll move on to the big ones before we pull out of here do want to make sure that we fill this up with seed i think the big bags might be how i want to do it i'll do one for now eight hundred dollars does this take fertilizer it does okay so we'll do some fertilizer as well that's probably going to take two of those well i mean we're surely going to need to it eventually so i highly doubt it's going to be a problem us buying two but we got 666 liters of seed that thing held 800 so just a little left over now i'm going to roll back here and we're going to stick some fertilizer in the top and you know what that did go ahead and take both of those to fill up 99 percent good to see so we're ready to roll and as we go to our first field i mean we could sneak back there and start i think i do want to do the small ones first but i want to see we have nine thousand seven hundred dollars right now not a whole lot so what would it cost to repair eight thousand okay that's not gonna happen i don't have the money so let's keep doing our job oh boy oh Oh dear. Oh no. <laughs> Me getting worried about how I'm going to pay my bills. Remember, I said in this series we will not use the bank, so no loans, and we also will not do any contracts. I would love to do contracts, but I said we won't, so we won't. We're instead sneak past the taco joint as we get broker and broker, probably because we keep buying tacos. And we're going to get to work planting this field. Now keep in mind, we still have our crop to sell, and it's going to sell in December and I believe January. So we just need to get through planting here, and if we can get to the winter months, we'll actually be doing a lot better. We'll have some money in our bank account. But we're going to switch over to canola on the planter, and I think I'm just going to start on this left side. Let me pull out here and kind of line myself up a little bit. All right, y'all, I think that's going to be the spot right there. So let's get to going in this field. We can pull at about, let's see, what it'll go. Can I go 14? I can go 11. So I'm going to set my crews at 12. Uh, honestly, I'm not. Uh, 11 is plenty fast in this thing. <laughs> I don't want to go any faster than this, I'm gonna be honest. We're gonna get this field planted with canola and all of our other ones as well. That hopefully will give us a significant amount of canola in the next year, probably over 100,000 liters. We got 30,000, I think 37,000 liters or 33,000 liters of oats off of our oat fields. And then we got 80 something thousand liters of canola off our two other fields. So in total, I mean, but, I don't know. We got to think about the conversion for yield for 
canola to oats, I don't know what it's like, which one yields more or less. But yeah, probably a good 100,000 liters or more. That'll be a great yield. Should pay us out a fair penny, more than we've ever seen so far in any of our recent series, because we have the most land out of any series we've done so far. We are very land heavy. We have 100 or $1.5 million that we started with, and the majority of that, the far majority of it, is spent in land. I mean, honestly, probably a million to 1.2 or 3 million, somewhere in there, is that's what we've spent on land. Um, didn't leave us much to work with after the fact, so... We're, we're, uh, we're struggling a little bit right now, but once we get a little bit of money this winter, we should be a little better off. Oh, by the way, I am not playing this series with precision farming. I did want to just keep it a more base game experience. We do have DLCs installed, but I didn't want to complicate the game more with precision farming. Eventually, I am down to use precision farming in future challenges as we continue moving forward because I think it is a very interesting and complex aspect of the game that I love having added. But that's like some kind of mod DLC, like unofficial DLC situation. I don't know. It's like you download it as a mod, so I don't know what to consider it. Either way, it complicates things more than I wanted to deal with. We already got to earn a lot of money. That's enough work for me. <laughs> Whoopsies. I left a little sliver there. Yes, that means I'm, you know, I'll just overplant over here, you know? It'll be extra thick right through here. You'd think the yield would be better? Nope. It's going to be too many plants. That's not actually how it works in farm sim. You don't have to worry about that. In this game, they simplify it quite a bit, which is good for, well, most of us. <laughs> I'm not going to complain. I'm just going to drive out of that field on over across the creek to our next one. These are our two smallest fields that we have to take care of. You guys will recognize right back here. This field right here is the one that is always in weeds in our uh, billionaire series, if you guys recognize. Now, we are on the same map, but a different save. So, different series, different series different save. I'm sure you guys understand. It's Elm Creek, the base game map for the United States in FarmSim 22. We are playing on medium on this series as well compared to the billionaire series where we are playing on hard. So that should make things a little bit easier for us in this series, a little bit different. The goal is quite a bit different though, so we'll see how it goes. I have a feeling we're definitely going to earn more money quickly in this series than we have in our billionaire. But that's not a bad thing. That means that in some capacity we've been learning and in some capacity we haven't you know there's still room to improve <laughs> but i'm gonna keep cooking along here we're probably coming up on halfway done on our seed at least for the what's in the cedar here so we're gonna have to probably go fill up uh we'll fill up after this field before we hit up the big ones because those are behind the shop so i can swing by the shop when i send myself over that way and we'll have all of these planted they have a fertilization layer because of the uh, planter so i shouldn't have to really touch them until next spring i would think we might have to deal with weeds but i don't know we'll see We'll see how soon they come up. If they get, if it's around winter time, if winter's pretty close, I'll let that take care of it. But we'll see. Doesn't parsnips look so cool? I want to do a parsnip field. Look at it. I just want to go lay down in it. It looks so fluffy. And I also, I also look like I would sneeze a lot. To be honest. So probably gonna have to pass on that one, boys. Sorry. But we'll do it. We'll, we'll harvest some parsnip at some point if I ever figure out how. If it ever tickles my fancy, which it does. <laughs> oh, well, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Sorry. We gotta back up and fix that. I missed a tiny little piece. There we go. Okay, now we're good. So, we drew a box around this field. Wouldn't it be fun to then go in here and on this next box do, like, sunflowers? And then on the next one do canola? And then on the next one do the sun... Oh, man. They don't plant at the same time, so obviously we're not going to be able to do that. But that would be kind of funny to see. But all we got to do now was our down and backs. So you guys know those. You're familiar. Guess I'm a zone out drink water and i don't know do my taxes <laughs> i need to i really need to get that done <laughs> this field has been completely planted we have 46 percent remaining in the planter we are going to swing by and fill the rest of the planter up before we get started on the next fields they are our biggest field so we know we're going to need it full but two out of four are planted we just have the two largest ones yet to go. Been a busy, busy August, I tell you. We harvested all these fields that we bought. 
knocked down that guy's mailbox, become a felon, you know, classic. Then we ripped up all that land, and now we're planting it all up again, all in the same month. It's a nice combine over there. Sure wish we could put it on some contracts, but I told you I wouldn't, so I won't. I'm a man of my word. We're gonna, we're gonna not do it. The reason, part of the reason why I wanted to do this series is one, because it's fun to try and buy all of the fields on the map. But two, because you guys said that you liked a series without loans and where we had to earn all of our money. And so I thought, well, yeah, me too. I like that too. So let's do it here, I guess. And in, to add with that, I also said, well, you know what? No loans and no contracts either because we need to earn it all from our own labor and kind of those contracts, like they're good. You do do labor. Like I'm not saying that you don't earn the money or not, whatever, but... I don't know. I feel like you earn a lot for what they are a lot of the time, which isn't a bad thing. Great way to make money. But I would, well, I'm curious to see when you own the land and you farm it in farm sim, how long will it take to then continue buying more land? The more land you buy, the more equipment you need to be able to sustain all of that land. So you got to earn a lot, surely. I don't know how much, but I mean, it's gotta be a lot. And I'm still have yet to see what we're gonna earn off of our first harvest here. After 1.5 million being invested, more or less at this point, we have $9,000, you know, it's gonna take a while to get our money back, I have a feeling. We could just go the billionaire series route and put grass in all of these fields and just do an absurd amount of silage bales. Could you imagine if the entire map on Elm Creek was all hay? fields oh my gosh it'd probably be very pretty but oh my gosh that'd be one heck of a of a multiplayer server wouldn't it every single field is just grass uh yikes <laughs> now i'm gonna stick with our oil option here we're gonna give that a try to start and uh we'll see what you guys say about some other rules on the series like whether we can use livestock uh whether we can use passive income generators i don't think we should use passive income generators like solar panels I think we should be allowed to use livestock, though. I think that is fair. I think we should also be allowed to potentially use bees. I think that would be fair. Greenhouses, I think, potentially could be fair. But I want you guys to let me know in the comments down below what you want to see in this series, how you want us to continue with it, and we'll continue moving forward from there. Right now, it's pretty simple. I have $9,000. I'm going to do what I can to plant this field and hope I make money off of it. <laughs> we. I love going down and back and 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 down and back. Yeah, you think this is going on for a while? Think how I feel. I keep missing parts on my inside because I'm losing my mind. And also, I apparently can't seem to drive straight. It's a real kick in my knackers. Ah! What's wrong with me? I suck at my job, dude. I'm just going to hire a worker. It's worth it. They do a better job than I do. It is indeed not worth it. It'll take all of our money, but I don't know what else to do, man. Take my money. Have it all, brother. I don't know what to tell you. Just make money, okay? As long as you make me money, that's what I care about. The John Deere's condition is not doing the best, and definitely after this planting season is really going to need fixed, so... Some of the funds from selling our crop this winter is going to have to go to repairing this bad boy. But part of the gig is fixing your equipment, I guess. I'm just going to sit here and longingly look at these contracts and think, I could earn that money, but I won't because my combine just sits here lazily. Why is our money going down so fast? Why are you doing so fast over here? Why are you super speeding my money? Get, you're fired. You're fired. I ain't never seen nobody. What? Y'all out here super speed my checking account, dude. Usually it's like dollar, 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 you know? This dude was over here like, yo, hit me with that dollar, 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 dollar bill, son. No, I'm going to get back to doing this myself then. Good Lord, you see how fast he was? I ain't paying you like that. Get out of here. Farmers in the future just flying a drone above their tractor and then watching the monitor while they're, you know, planting, just being like, okay, I can see where I'm at. I got, I got myself lined up. <laughs> Could you imagine, dude? Just like, all right, set the drone up after you. All right, let's see where we're at. Okay, I got the third person view. It'd be useful though, dude. You're going through like fences and stuff. Like, I'm gonna clear that. You just top down view, look at it. Yeah, you're gonna clear it. I wonder. You know how some, you know, uh, you know those rich people cars when they have the 
the thing that gives you the camera top down of the vehicle so you can see around it. You know, the thing that absurdly expensive vehicles seem to have. I wonder if brand new tractors come with that. Wouldn't it be cool if you had that top down camera on your tractor? So you just had it on, you're out in the field and you just see top down, you're like, oh, da 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 da. That'd be pretty neat. If John Deere or somebody hasn't already implemented that tech, they probably need to. Ah! I'm two rows deep in the other side and we're gonna be three! I'm trying to straighten this out and... Oh, I made it worse. I got off way back there. Why didn't you tell me, SpongeBob? Well, now... Oh, this is why I hate planning! I hate it! Hate it! Hate it! Why don't my tractor just go straight? We need GPS! I need GPS! Petition, please give give pickle GPS. Allow him one mod, one mod. <laughs> Let pickle, please. It's it's for your good and my good. <laughs> Boo doo doop, boop, boom boom, be doop, boop. You're not gonna give me a GPS. I'm gonna make at least make the noises myself. I just can't drive quite as straight. But we don't need to point that out. Okay, I already know. It's pretty apparent. Your mom's a pretty parent. <laughs> <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Ah, uh, that's funny. I like it. That's some good wordplay. What'd you do today, Jake? I drove my tractor north, and then I drove it south, and then I drove it north, and then I drove it south. <laughs> what are you going to do tomorrow? I was thinking east-west. What do you think? <laughs> no. I started to get off of the line again. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it. I just suck at my job. I'm still sucking at my job, aren't I? The thing is, is even if I went and downloaded that uh, GPS mod right now, I would need $15,000 to install it on this stupid thing. I have eight. Well, I have 15. And I need eight just to fix it. Uh-oh. And I need seed. Uh-oh. Why don't you guys tell me farming was so hard? Look at this slope, brother. Good lord. Tony Hawk, here we go. Sometimes you feel like Tony Hawk when you're in your tratter. Oh, it's one of those moments. Oh, good lord. Good lord, we're speeding down this field. Look at him. Look at him, dude. Lightning McQueen out here. <laughs> just a pop. McQueen blew a tire. <laughs> Swerves. Oh. <laughs> All right. Good lord. Enough of that. That was a bumpy ride. Ooh. I used to have a farm right here. It was our first ever farm in Farm Sim. I really enjoyed that time. Those were good days. I miss those days. I look forward to the next Farm Sim. But I enjoy this Farm Sim right now, too. So, I don't know. You know. Regardless, we need some seed. Yeah, we needed seed. Buy that. We need fertilizer, too. But I'm gonna... Okay, I'll buy it. All right. Yeah, we need it anyways. All right. Well, it's fine. Spend my money. Here we go. I have $5,900. Yay! Good Lord. Tony Hawk needs to stop driving my tractor. He's gonna ruin it. No wonder I owe $8,000 in repair fees. I know this might be a bad time, but... You owe me $32,000 in legal fees. <laughs> All right. Still at it. Still going to plant. Still doing our job. Still trying to make money. But losing it while we're making it. We're not making it. But we're losing it. I'm good at losing money. Oh! Yo! Hey, guys. I have an idea for a series. Reverse billionaire series. Hear me out. We start out with a billion dollars. And we see how long it takes for me to mess up and lose it all. It, I really don't... I think it'll be faster for me to lose a billion dollars <laughs> than it will be for me to earn a billion dollars uh, much faster, actually. <laughs> I bet you we could complete that in under six years. <laughs> uh, that's a funny idea. I like that idea. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, it'd be Maybe that's a, no, the next season, well, you know, after we somehow earn our billion dollars, maybe we try to lose it, see how long it takes find out it only takes a year and a half i'm like oh man guess i shouldn't have tried to single-handedly fund that farming simulator movie the public wasn't quite ready for it <laughs> it starts out and it's just to forget how to dig the soil is to forget ourselves <laughs> <laughs> so good oh it's so funny it's what a meme what a meme to forget how to dig the soil is to forget ourselves. Meet my daughter. Doesn't seem like I have time for anything other than farming, but that's all right, because she's got her own little tractor. Never mind that she's holding up traffic for the next mile and a half. You see this? I'm carrying a bag of seed and putting it in the bed of my pick -em up truck. This might lead some of you to believe that you could do that in the game, but no, you cannot. 
<laughs> I'm just going off a memory of different scenes from this intro. I played this game for 2,200 hours. I've seen that intro a lot. <laughs> I've seen it more than anyone should. I'll tell you that much. Uh, they don't. When they when they are like, we're gonna pay to get this made, they say, no, 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 no. As much as that's gonna cost, we can't just use it as a trailer on YouTube. Put it at the start of the game and make them see it every single time. <laughs> They gotta get in the mood for farming. They gotta understand. See, they don't understand. You don't understand. To forget how to dig the soil. <laughs> <laughs> I'm losing my mind out here and we're only halfway done. Oh no. I think this might be our final pass right here. If our planner is gonna be big enough, we're about to find out. I think it is. Wow, look at that. So we are going to, with this pass, have the entire biggest field that we own planted with canola. We've got two of our smallest fields planted with canola. And we have one more medium-sized field right over there, that yellow blob that we have yet to plant. And canola. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. A little wide, a little wide, double wide supreme. Oh. Okay, we're not quite getting to the edge, but we're getting as much over there as I possibly can. I can't get any farther. To go any farther would stop it planting on that inside. And I'm okay missing oh, 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 a little on the edge. I don't want to miss on the inside. That just annoys me. But that edge missing one row, I'm not going to complain about. We're not going to worry about. I'm going to leave it as is. That entire large field has now been planted. And we're going to sneak over with 5% of 35 liters of seed in our planter. We are going to need a little bit more. So I'm going to go buy some more seed for that other field and uh well i don't think we're gonna need any more fertilizer so luckily we can save a little on that all right a bag of seed is eight hundred dollars we're gonna purchase that down to five thousand one hundred and sixty seven dollars and let's just stroll we already had a bag of seed 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 i should have seen i should have seen i should have seen i knew i knew i knew i knew that that's me being dumb i'm sorry i knew we had a bag of seed uh, for some reason, I was thinking it was a bag of fertilizer, and it wasn't. It was seed. And then I got up there, and I was like, oh, I knew that, too. It is what it is. We're going to need seed eventually, so what are you going to do about it? I'm not going to complain. No reason. Already done. Just move forward. Beautiful 85-degree day here this August, 1 p.m. right now. And we are working our way towards finishing our planting for the next year. Well, at least until our next harvest in July. And when that time comes, we'll have to decide which fields are going to be canola and which fields are going to be sunflower. Admittedly, I don't know the yield difference, so we'll just have to see what happens. But before we can get on that, we do have to plant. So we have canola that we have to harvest. So let's continue with our final field we have to plant here. The one behind uh, the neighbors. I had a dude... Okay, I don't know whether you are or are not going to get the second episode. If this is going to be the second episode, I don't know. We already explained that. But there were some really good parts from the second episode. So I'm going to tell Gilbert to, like, give you kind of a recap at the beginning with, like, the best parts or, like, the most important pieces of info. Something, you know, just a quick, like, hey, here's what happened in this episode that was messed up. And in that, whether he showed it then or he'll show it now, I don't know. But there was a, a, a section that I thought was funny about like the homeowner running out after their dog. I, I'm not going to try to explain it. So either play that section here, Gil, or at, if it was at the beginning, then cool. Either way. I, I loved that. I thought that was funny. And being over here just reminded me of it. Imagine these people just dealing with me at 9 in the morning. Hi, neighbor! How's it going? You thought the lawnmower was annoying? <laughs> Just wait till you hear a combine going in your backyard at 9 a.m. Yep, them Saturday cartoons getting drowned out by this gigantic thing. Your little tiny dog runs out the back door because it's been barking at it for the window for half an hour and you stepped outside to, I don't know, do whatever and it snuck between your legs and now it's running out here after the combine and you're worried it's going to get swept up inside of there and you might never see your dog again. Your little dog starts running at it, tries to bite at the back wheels, gets pelted in the face by all the straw <laughs> coming out the back. I don't know why I'm picturing like such a vivid image of this. You would think this is something that has happened to me. It is not. <laughs> it's just, uh, I can see it happening. <laughs> I really can. It feels like a moment 
you got the person running now down the side of the hill after their dog trying to stop you, trying to stop their dog. They're wearing like kind of a pajama situation that shouldn't really be worn in public if we're being honest with each other. And they got some kind of slippers on and the slippers has fallen off as they go down the hill and they got to backtrack a little ways to get the slipper. Oh, and now they done stepped. It's a little muddy out because it done did rain last night and we're just working a little bit of that muddy oat, you know what I'm saying? And they're just having the heck of a time trying to get their dog now. I'm sure of it. I can see it now. Now now the dog's been following us this whole way. He's going to see this interstate up here, Mr. Red Car. He's, oh, new objective. Follow that one. <laughs> it's going to be 10 states over. <laughs> and you ain't never going to see your dog again. Imagine telling that story. How'd your dog run away? Well, <laughs> But if we did end up using that video and this is video three instead of video two, then, um, well, I uh, guess just you should go watch that one. Okay. Yeah. Covered all of our bases, baby. Look at us. Should put me in baseball. I'm just kidding. Don't do not do that. I don't like to run. We are, we, we've covered that before, too. I'm excited to get on to selling our crop here in December and January. That's what I want to move on to next because we are desperately in need of some money. That's for sure. Good news, everyone. This pass right here is just beyond halfway the one we just completed i think was our halfway mark so from this moment on it is a downward stretch we've almost completed all of our planting we've got just a tiny little what probably one two three four five six maybe i would say anywhere from six to eight passes left to go i'm kind of curious how accurate i was so let's find out i was not counting the one we were on so this is number one and two three i'm pretty sure this was four i'm gonna be honest i started thinking through in my head all the different ways i was saying the numbers and i was like counting counting it out and planning ahead how to say the numbers and then because i was planning ahead i suddenly was like oh wait 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 is this four <laughs> pretty sure it is uh no i missed a little spot oopsies i'm a disgrace of a farmer there we go Keep fixing your mistake, Jake. Anybody else feel like that tiny, 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 tiny little piece that I missed right there should be officially referred to as a nibble? I just feel like that's the most appropriate way to refer to that. It's just a nibble. It looks like a nibble to me, you know? Oh, oh, sorry. Five. <laughs> hey, look at that. Because I suck at my job, it's going to be six. <laughs> and yay, we did it. I was correct. And we're planting some of that driveway over there. So we're going to plant some rock canola. Y'all ever had rocky canola? It's not a good time. I'll tell you that. I don't think it would be at least. But we are pretty much done with this planter. We have 20% and almost 30% on the fertilizer. But other than those things, we are done with this, actually. So I want to drive back to the store, unload what little we have left by our combine, and then let the store know that they can take their planner back. But after all of that, we now are down to $3,287. I wonder if they'll let me put it in the grass. What do you think? Yes. Yes, they will. And the planter is returned. And as you guys see, the blue fields we own are all planted in the first stage of growing. They are all also the first stage of fertilization. None of them have weeds. And yeah, there's some plowing and lime issues, but we're going to ignore those. And yes, they all need rolled, but we're going to ignore that. Hello, car. Sorry, I didn't know I was in your way. My bad. So for now, we're going to park our tractor in front of our combine. Wish we had the money to buy a power washer. And we're gonna sit through the time, drink some coffee, and wait until we can sell our crop. Uh, stretch! Ah! This video brought to you by getting closer and closer to the age of 30. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm only 20 coming up on 26. <laughs> okay, hear me out. I know it's 3.15 in the morning at December, but when I looked at the deal, we all know that it said December was the best month. Now, look at this. November is what? Like, they're equal, I guess, technically, but here, you see it's actually declining, so I stopped time. I want to get it sold. We have it set to grow gold crest because it's at the train, so we're going to get 1487, and I don't want it to drop any further than that. <clears throat> so I'm going to sneak over there in my tractor in case we ended up needing a tractor. We shouldn't because it's already in the silos ready for the train, but I just want to have it there in case we need it. And this is the big moment for our canola. We're about to s I always hit that guy's mailbox. He's going to hate me. We are about to sell our 60 some thousand liters of canola. And the next month we're going to sell our oats. So big profit times coming in here, here, I hope. As long as uh, the government don't step in and say, oh, you made money. Give it to me. 
<laughs> All right, gentlemen, my trouser's here in case we need it. I need to rent the train. Let me go over here to the box and talk to the train man. All right. They said the train man's on his way. I'm gonna stand right here and wait for him. Last time he booped me in my butt. I'm just gonna be honest with you. He came from a direction I was not expecting, so I'm gonna try and watch this map and just see. I don't want to get booped in the butt again. 2.8 kilometers. Yo, why are you so far away, train man? Ugh. No, no, it's fine. I'll wait. Tan! Tan! You went farther? Why? I see you on the map, buddy. Come on. Come on. Get on down here, Bucky. Come on now, boy. Please. I need to make money. Knock, knock. Who's there? The train, I hope. Ding, 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 ding. Uh, sounds like it's a train. Perfect timing. Ah, there he is. Who wants a hug? Come here. <laughs> Give me a big old smooch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so this is the train we're going to use. I actually got to hop in it, back it up just a hair. We're going to load up one of those in the rear. Wish I had me a little, uh, little camera back there, but I don't. So we're going to try and just pull up underneath to where I think I might be under the thingy majig. And let's see. I must not be, and I must now be. Okay, fill up 61,500 liters of canola. Let's see how much that fills. This tank back here, I'm very curious. Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Dude, look at it. Look at it. Ooh! Usually when we put a load in that, that was like a good amount in that trailer, but still not even enough. We could fill a whole nother load of that yet. But we're going to send that off $91,600. We went from $3,000 to $94,000. That's what I like to see. So remember I was talking about how we could buy the oil plant. I do want to do that. I think that's what we are going to do eventually. But first... We need to make sure we have all of our other obligations that we need taken care of. So I'm going to sneak on forward to the next month. We're going to get ourselves ready to sell the next crop. And we'll see what our financing is looking like after that. Oh, by the way, while we're speeding time forward, I was going to go to sell the next stuff. But we do have a lot of weeds, very large weeds, all of our fields. It actually needs taken care of. So I'm thinking, talking about our obligations, we might actually want to take... Ooh! Things for sale. Things for sale. Think of, forget our obligations. Let's buy another tractor. <laughs> 135 horsepower, $66,000. As much as I want it, we're not going to get it. Uh, I mean, I do want it. I do want it. I, I do want it. I do want it. I don't need it, though, so we're not going to get it. This thing requires 250 horsepower. It's only six meters wide. And what is it even considered? What are you? What are you? I don't even know what you are, brother. Hold on, I gotta go try to find this thing. Is it gonna be... Is it a... It's not a disc arrow, is it? Oh. Wait, was it you? I forget. That? No. Gosh dang, what? Okay, what's that brand though? Hold on. A, B, C, D, E, F, J, H, I, J, K. That's what I'm looking for right there. Oh, here it is, right? <laughs> Right here. Okay. Okay. Still don't know what it is. What are you? It's usually $51,000 and they're selling it for $26,000. It's a cultivator. Ooh, I like big money. $26,000. That's big savings. Buy it. <laughs> oh, wait. I didn't need that. Impulse buy. Ooh, wait. Oh, impulse buy the tractor too, you said? That would take all my money. I won't do it. I want to, but I won't. We need to get a sprayer. That's our obligation right now, because we need to apply herbicide, and I don't really know what sprayer to get. Probably one that we can afford. Um, this is a little bit better priced right here, i will be honest with you. It's 34. I wish I could get a sale. Mm. Why can't you be on sale? <sighs> I could lease it and then try to find the sale. What's a lease? Hey, that ain't bad. What if I lease it and then try to find the sale? I mean, I'm going to need it moving forward, and I'm actually going to need it coming up this summertime. It's the tool I'm going to need. Until we get to harvest, which I have all the stuff for harvest, more or less, I just need to get that dolly. Um, I'll, You know what? Because the cultivator was our other big thing that we needed. This might cover most of our obligations that we have, almost all of them. I'll go ahead and buy it, maybe? I'd still like to get a deal. If I could get a deal, that'd be best. So it'd cost us mm, ballpark three and a half thousand dollars to lease this thing for the year, probably. Part of me wishes I would have leased the combine, but you know, it's fine. We did buy that. 
I'm going to lease this just because I want to buy one on sale. That may or may not be a controversial decision. I don't know. I just don't quite want to spend the money. And we didn't need to spend the money on that cultivator. We could have got something else. We could have waited. We could have just continued to lease. We could have done a lot of things. But, you know, when I see something on sale, I'm kind of interested in buying it. I like getting the stuff cheaper. I'm okay with it being used. Sure, in this situation with this tractor, I'm running over to the store right now to sink probably eight to $10,000 in repairs. But after that, it's gonna be a good tractor for us through the next year. We'll just need to do our normal yearly maintenance to it. But as long as we take care of it from now on, it's gonna be a very good tractor for us. So I know we had $94,000 and we have started to blow it fast, but you know, is the nature of the beast. Uh, trust me, I wanted to ignore all that stuff and just go to harvest, but $10,000 to repair now? All right, pair it. So we're down to 56,000 because it took 10,243 to repair. But yeah, if you guys saw the, the state of the weeds in those fields, at least when I was out there, it's pretty bad. I'm hoping they didn't miraculously get better somehow. If they did, I'm gonna be an angry boy, but we'll see what happens. For now, we need to get herbicide to fill this thing on up, which I'm not gonna find in a big bag, but I will find right here. We got fertilizer and herbicide, $2,400. I'm gonna buy Helm. I don't know why, just cause the brand is different than the other one I normally buy. So we'll buy one for now, see how it feels. Luckily it spawned right next to us, it's convenient. We didn't take all of it, but we did get a full tank, so I'm gonna keep with just one there. And we're leasing this hardy mega sprayer. As you guys know, we could have bought it for around thirty-four and a half thousand dollars but I wanted to see what it was like, if it was worth it, so I figured we'd lease it to start out. Because if we can buy it cheaper whenever it does come up on sale, that would be nice. I'm just kind of betting that it does, I'm hoping. You guys can see our weeds, you know, we mainly got a, a field of weeds and uh, our crop is merely secondary. And so it's at a deal where like our crop is gonna get drowned out pretty much by the sheer amount of weeds and they're, they're not gonna get sunlight. There's gonna be a canopy over them, right? And that's not good for the growth of our crop. That'll mean a lower yield. That's something we need to take care of. So as not yummy as these chemical sprays are, and honestly, these sprays are primarily water-based. They're like 98% water, probably. Uh, even still, you know, I'd prefer to have a method where we don't have to do this. Maybe we can get a weeder or something uh, to try and take care of this moving forward. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. But we're moving along. We're going to try and make as much money off of our fields this first year that we're in full control. Our very first harvest, we bought the fields from somebody and they were kind of neglected. So we're gonna try and take a little bit better care of them this year. And as things go, hopefully we uh, start making some decent money and we're able to buy neighboring fields and continue to expand to own the entire map. But for now, I'm gonna keep rolling until the next time we earn a little bit of money. I'm gonna get these weeds all taken care of and I'll catch in with you guys here in just a little bit. Man, that is satisfying. <laughs> we got a lot more to go though.